Hello and welcome back to Nathan Bell's podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Today, Nate would like to talk about pornography. Okay, today I'm going to talk about pornography. I won't lie, I've watched pornography in my life. Um, And I want to say I think there is a place for adult entertainment in the world. Um, You know, I think when when people become adults, they can watch sexual content. You know, we have sexual content in movies. There are sex scenes in movies, and that's basically the same thing, even though it's acted. Um, So, you know, adults can watch sexual content. Um, So, you know, I won't shame anyone for watching sexual content. I do think it's a shame that there aren't many blocks up to prevent children from viewing adult content, you know. All you've got to do is type in a porn website and it comes up. Um, And so children are being exposed to inappropriate content um, frequently on their smartphones and on their laptops. Uh, And there isn't a lot to protect children from um, being exposed to that sort of content that they shouldn't see. Um, I also want to say about working in sex industries and working as a sex worker, I won't shame anyone for working as a sex worker. I do think people can live rewarding, meaningful and satisfying lives with careers in sex work. Um, I think a lot of sex workers have to put up with a lot of mistreatment and abuse, um, especially women working in brothels put up with a lot of mistreatment and abuse um, from customers, so that's unacceptable, and sex workers need to be protected by the law. Uh, sex workers have rights as well. Um, so, yeah. So, But I do think um, the porn industry is very exploitative, and it bothers me, and when I've watched porn... Uh, like I, I, I've enjoyed watching porn as a lot of adults have um, but when I've watched porn I've also found that I feel like the girls are being treated in a very demeaning way and being used and being devalued and I don't like when people are devalued I don't like viewing people as objects um, for pleasure you know I don't see that another human being should be viewed as your object for your pleasure um, to be used um only for your pleasure and not to be uh, and for you to not regard their welfare you know i believe in in caring about the welfare of others and having the best interests of others at heart and doing what is right by people Uh, so i don't like when i see people um who are being used as objects uh and it feels like exploitation for me and i know there's a lot of abuse and violence and exploitation in the porn industry um girls get brought in and they get promised careers as porn stars, and they promise they're going to make millions of dollars, uh, and then they get, uh, you know, they get a video where, where they have sex with the guys, and then they don't get paid, or they get paid a small amount of money, and they get treated poorly, and it really um, brings down their self-esteem and damages them, and if you look at the porn industry at the moment, since the internet has taken off in the last 20, 30 years. There are just so many girls being dragged into this. There are thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of girls being dragged into this uh, and they don't get paid properly and they don't get treated right and they get used and they walk away feeling terrible about themselves. I expect we're going to see a lot of lawsuits in the next sort of 20, 30 years. Um, Women standing forth later in life saying that they feel like they were poorly treated and exploited in the porn industry. Um, I expect that to come. Um, So, you know, the industry has to be regulated so that people are treated with respect as they are in all workplaces. Uh, I don't know if there's a sex workers union. I think there is, uh, but I encourage sex workers to join the sex workers union um, because workers have rights and workers deserve to be treated with respect in the workplace. And it's the same for sex workers. And sex work, just because a woman is a prostitute who will have sex with you for money doesn't mean that you can slap her around or or, or beat her up or, or spit on her or, or treat her poorly. Uh, or demean her or talk foul language to her, you know, which a lot of um, prostitutes put up with in brothels um, and a lot of women put up with in the porn industry. But, you know, a lot of these porn stars, these women, they make very good careers for themselves and they make a lot of money and they live very luxurious lives. Uh, and, you know, a person, what, what gives a person satisfaction and um, <coughs> satisfaction in life is their personal preference. Um, So what makes a person happy and what sort of lifestyle or what life makes an individual happy is up to the individual. Um, So you've got to go and ask a successful porn star, do you think 
your career in pornography has made you a happy person? Do you think that you're happy and satisfied with your life or do you regret? Um, so do you regret the choice you made to be in the porn industry? And I think you get mixed responses from different porn stars. Some might say they really regret their decision to get involved in the porn industry. Other porn stars might say they've lived a luxurious life, they've made a lot of money, and uh, they're very satisfied with how their life has played out. So really, you know, what gives a person satisfaction and what a person considers a good life is subjective and is determined by the individual. So we shouldn't tell other people people how to live or what lifestyle to live and we shouldn't shame people for making choices that we wouldn't make like I wouldn't work in porn it certainly wouldn't suit me I'm far too shy reserved a guy um, and I wouldn't be comfortable flaunting flaunting sexuality for money um, and I'm not so boisterous and uh, a man that I, that I would engage in that sort of activity on camera um, but if that's what makes someone else happy, that's their personal preference and happiness is subjective and decided by the individual. Um, I do think, uh, you know, a lot of these young girls, they, they get snapped up by these uh, pornographers when just when they turn 18 uh, and they get wrote, convinced, you know, and, and, you know, you can say 18, you're a legal adult, you make your own choices and that's what the law says. Um, but 18 year olds aren't that mature. Um, so, but we can't. We have to say there is an age where people make their own decisions about what they do, and uh, that we have to say in the law that there is an age of consent where a person decides for themselves what choices they make. And so that age is 18. So pornographers can snap up these 18-year-old girls just when they're just out of school and convince them to do these porn movies. And you know, I think a lot of these girls go on to have deep regrets about being in involved in these films um and so how do you control that without changing the age of consent and without changing the law to nullify legal adulthood because we have legal adulthood um and adults are culpable for their own decisions and they make their own decisions and there has to be an age where adults make decisions and they have to deal with the consequences of their decisions um so you know how do you prevent 18 year old girls being snapped up by porn makers and and taken advantage of uh they're of the legal age so they make their own legal decisions uh and unless you change that legal age you can't prevent that from happening so unfortunately a lot of those girls who have those regrets are going to have to live with those regrets um and then and whether they're entitled <coughs> To compensation because they feel exploited uh, or feel they were taken advantage of is a matter for a judge to decide uh, but I expect we're going to see a lot of these young girls through this who've come through this porn revolution since the internet started attempting to sue for compensation as they get older um, because you know this porn revolution only started in the last 20 years uh, so a lot of these girls that, that have been through this massive stream of porno movies uh, with thousands of girls um, they're, they're only coming into their 40s and 50s now um, so I think later in life they're, they're going to want to sue uh, and it's going to be a matter for a, a judge and a court whether uh, they were, uh, they made their own decision as a legal adult or whether they were exploited um, but you know it's, it's, it's an industry where people are taken advantage of and used as objects and I don't like objectifying people and using people as items and toys for pleasure you know People aren't toys for your satisfaction. I've said that before. A human being is not a toy for your pleasure or your satisfaction. A human being has feelings and emotions and thoughts and wants well in life. Um, so we shouldn't use people as objects. Um, but like I said, that you know we can have adult entertainment as well. And some people live very happy, satisfying lives being involved in that industry. So it's a very complicated issue and it's all about consent and legal adulthood. Um, and choices that people make and it's all about subjective ideas of what is happiness and what is a quality life uh, and what, what what choices lead to a satisfying life uh, and you know and a, and you know a lot of it's about hindsight and how will you feel when you're 18 and you're going to die when you look back at your life um, well a lot of young people can't think that far ahead uh, and that's why they make choices that they deeply regret later in life 
Anyway, there's a bit about my thoughts on pornography. There is room for adult entertainment, but the industry has to be regulated to protect people's rights, and sex workers have rights, uh, and people can't be exploited and taken advantage of and abused and used. And we should generally not use people as toys and objects. People are human beings, and their lives have value. So drop a comment in the comment section what you think about pornography.